takes a great man to make a great listener. The apparent foolishness of others is but too frequently our own ignorance. Do not be deceived into thinking that how a man acts is the full picture. We are not so easily guided by our most prominent weaknesses as by those of which we are least aware. Many know how to please but know not when they have ceased to give pleasure. Experience is the extract of suffering. The greatest luxury of riches is that they enable you to escape so much good advice. Few have wished for memory so much as they have longed for forgetfulness. Wise sayings often fall on barren ground, but a kind word is never thrown away. We are frequently understood the least by those who have known us the longest. And trust a secret to one whose importance will not be much increased by divulging it. Infinite toil would not enable you to sweep away a mist, but by ascending a little, you may often look over it altogether. No man has ever praised two persons equally and pleased them both. A mixture of admiration and pity is one of the surest recipes for affection. The reasons which any man offers to you for his own conduct betray his opinion of your character. To hear always, to think always, to learn always, it is thus that we live truly. He who aspires to nothing, who learns nothing, is not worthy of living. I do not know any way so sure of making others happy as of being so oneself to begin with. Simple ignorance has in its time been complimented by the names of most of the vices and of all the virtues. Anyone who is much talked of be much maligned. This seems to be a harsh conclusion, but when you consider how much more given men are to depreciate than to appreciate, you will acknowledge that there is some truth in the saying. Extremely foolish advice is likely to be uttered by those who are looking at the laboring vessel from the land. The sense of danger is never, perhaps, so fully apprehended as when the danger has been overcome. He who is continually changing his point of view sees more and more clearly than one who stays to like forever stands upon the same pedestal, however lofty and well placed that pedestal may be. The thing which makes one man greater than another, the quality by which we ought to measure greatness, is a man's capacity for loving. Men of much depth of mind can bear a great deal of counsel for it does not easily deface their own character, nor render their purposes indistinct. There is hardly a more common error than that of talking, the man who has one talent for a genius. The worst use that can be made of success is to boast of. Routine is not organization, 
any more than paralysis disorder.